Hey there, we're in the middle of a tutorial here creating a, a recycler view app. So you can see on the screen I'm going to make a list of presidents. We can scroll through them, click one, and then uh, update. We can edit one of them or add new ones. So in this video we're going to actually create the class called president and then put it into a list. So the question about where to put this list is going to come up right now. So we're going to have a list of uh, items that wants to be able to be accessed from any screen on our app. So we've got two screens and we're eventually going to put it into a globally accessible location. And uh, that's coming up in maybe a, in a future video. But for right now, we're just going to create the list inside of our first activity. And so for those of you that are just sticking around for part of this tutorial, I'll keep it as simple as possible and not, a, not do this global variable thing yet but that'll come eventually. So we're gonna put the list of presidents inside activity main. So I'm switching back into my code editor and since we're going to main activity, let's open that up. What kind of an item do we need to create? Well, we need a class called a president and then we can make a list of those. Okay, so we wanna create a new class. Let's go to the folder called Java and you can see we have three different locations. I'm gonna put it inside this folder where the other classes are. So we'll right click and choose Java class and uh, the name. Let's call this thing president. And what are we going to have in our president? Well, let's give it some properties. So I've decided in my app that I'm going to have four different properties. I'm going to give each president a unique ID number, which makes things easier to manage in the lists. And then I'm going to give him a string for president's name. The integer is going to be the date of his election. And then the string is going to be his image URL. Now, you can add more properties if you want to make this more detailed. All right, so we want this president to have some actions. So we're going to need a constructor, a two string method, and some getters and setters. So let's do all those things. So first of all, I like doing all of this automatically if I can. So I'm going to select all of these guys and uh, let's do a right click and choose generate. And what can we generate here? Let's start with a constructor. And so let's see, I'll select everybody here and click OK. So here's the constructor. So it has four parameters you can see as the inputs and each of those are assigned the properties according to their name. So all that code's done, very nice. Let's go to the bottom here and let's now create a bunch of getters and setters. Do the same thing, I'm gonna right click, choose generate and then choose getters and setters this time. Now I'm going to select all of these with a shift key so I have all four and click OK. And now I've got get ID, set ID, get name, set name, the whole thing. So that's pretty standard practice when you're creating a bunch of uh, properties. Now we're going to probably need a two string method so I might also put that in now. Let's do a right click, generate, and let's do a two string method and it'll take all of those guys and it will concatenate all the strings together so that way when we're logging out information in the, uh, in the console log, we'll be able to test to see which president's been added or deleted. Okay, so we've got that. We're gonna also do some sorting, but uh, we'll have to come back and figure out how to compare objects at a different time. For right now, this is good enough, so I'm gonna save this, and uh, I might also close it. I don't need to look at the president class anymore. Now I just need to create a list. So the main activity is going to be where I put the list. So let's start here with the word list and type of president. And let's call this thing what? President list? How's that? And we're going to make this a new array list of type president. There we go. So we've got ourselves a new list. Looks like we need to press alt and enter or return to make that list happen. Now it's an empty list. Let's add some data to it. So maybe down here in the first line of onCreate, I'm going to create a new function called fillPresidentList. And uh, that's just going to be a method that doesn't exist yet. But the light bulb says, I will create this for you if you want. And so I will select that option. And down at the bottom, it says fillPresidentList. Now, for each item in the president list, I'm going to create a new president. So let's create president P0. And we'll use the constructor to create a new president. So I'm going to use this as my model, and I'm going to copy and paste it like about 10 times. So I'm going to press Control-C, 
control V and until we get a whole bunch of presidents. Okay, so I'm going to rename them all from P0 to P9, so that gives us 10 presidents. So let's fill in the first guy. His uh, ID is zero, and our first president that we're going to put today is, surprise, is George Washington. And you knew this, but he was elected in 1788, correct? Now, where are we going to get an image URL for George Washington? So we can just use Wikipedia. I like Wikipedia for a lot of things. So I'm going to go to my trusty browser and look for Wikipedia list of presidents. And sure enough, the first article is a list of presidents. And if I'm lucky, I will see photos. Ah, here they are. Look at that. So we have ourselves uh, George Washington. Now I want a photo. Now the easiest way to get the photo is just to right click and choose image address. Not the image itself, but the URL. So I'm going to choose copy image address. And then I'm going to switch back into my uh, code here. And then I'm going to paste. So let's see, control V. And wow, that is a portrait of George Washington. So it looks like that'll work. Now I'm going to go through the rest of these. And uh, if you want to do them as, I, as you watch me, you can. Otherwise, just pause the video and fill in the rest of the presidents that you like. OK, so for each president, now I'm going to go and copy his URL. So his image URL, and I'm going to note the year of his date. So each item that we create is going to have a different ID number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then for each president, we need a string. We need to have an integer and then another string. So all of this goes together. Pick out the presidents that you like the best or whatever object that you're using here, and you will have a new president list. So when we're done, we should have P0 through P9 for our presidents. So next, I want to make this list of guys into one, one list. So we're going to do president list dot add all, add all. And inside there, we're going to create a new array of these presidents and convert it to a list. So it's kind of strange. We go arrays dot as list. And then inside there, we create a new, a new array. So the reason I'm doing this is because I can put it all in one line. You could also just do this 10 times using the word add. You could add P0, you could add P1, you could add P2, but that would take a lot more code. So anyway, I'm just trying to make it short. So when we're done, we should have a list of presidents. Okay, so let's go up to the top and see if this actually works. So I'm going to now put in a log. So I'm going to put in log D. Do you see that? And I'm going to press enter. And it says uh, we have a new message that's going into our log. Well, also tag says uh, we need to be defined, so I'm going to create a tag. And the tag up here at the top is going to be called our presidents app. And now in the log, I'm going to say uncreate, and I'm going to add a presidents list dot to string. So this is just for testing purposes. We're going to log out all of the presidents after we fill them. So let's check it to see if it runs. I'm going to run the app and see if there's anything in our log. Okay, so the app is a cup and is, is it running yet? Let's get it started. So we got the app up and running and uh, let's check the log out. So I'm gonna open this up, choose log cat and uh, we should see some new messages near the bottom here. And sure enough, we've got an uncreate message here. So. Let's see if that looks like it. So I scroll to the right, and I can see that each president has been added. So it looks like the list has items in it. That's pretty good. One more check to make sure that it's working is I'm going to put a toast on the screen. So, so I'm going to type in the word toast. I'm going to select create new toasts, and I'm going to tell us how long the list is. So I'm going to put in the president count, and I'm going to say the president list dot size. And that should bring up a message on the screen to tell me how many presidents are in my list. And let's see, I'll run the app. And it'll only show up for a second, but down here at the bottom it says president count equals 10. So we've got ourselves a list. In the next video, we're going to actually put that list together into uh, something that we can see on the screen. So that's coming right up.